Hey guys, welcome to another week's vlog. Oh, hey Sally. Do you wanna say hi? She's rubbing on my legs. Hi. What's up? And Mr. Manners too, oh my goodness. Look guys, 72. <laughs> so yeah, I got my air fixed. Let me get over to some light and talk to you guys for a minute. But first, sniffles, sneeze. Come on light, adjust. Adjust to her beauty. Oh, okay. Darkness. All right, so it is Wednesday. My camera's about to die. I'm about to plug it up. I just want to talk to you guys for a minute. I'm going to keep it shorter than my normal ramblings. But it's Wednesday. I have a... Sally! Ah! Devil. So I have kind of a weird day. I went in for a meeting at Sephora. If you guys saw like in a news outlet or on social media, all Sephora's were closed from 10 to 11 to talk about a campaign that we're gonna start. So I can talk about this now because it starts tomorrow and you guys won't see this until Monday, but it's we belong to something beautiful. So apparently this has been in the works for a while and it's all about inclusivity and basically just acceptance of all people, but we're starting and focusing on, you know, acceptance of people in the transgender community. It was a doorstop, those always scare me. But people who are transgender, non-binary, gender fluid, things like that. So basically just forming like a better understanding. That's super weird. My camera was just at 25% and it just stopped working. I don't understand what's going on. Um, I really hope my camera's not dying. Okay, to keep it short and sweet, essentially, I was like, how can the lid make a difference? But anyway, I'm gonna film a little clip. I actually already filmed it with my phone because my camera was dead. Um, and I'm just gonna try out leaving it closed. And I'm also gonna try it with the original cleanser that I can't remember who it was um, who originally used this little tiny washing machine, or at least the first one I, that I'm aware of. She used the Glam Glow like gentle bubble cleanser or whatever it's called. Um, so that one, we're gonna see how it works out um and see if having the lid closed actually makes a difference but i, I would bet there's not going to be a big difference you know what i mean uh and anyway i kind of thought it was funny but then people were like coming after each other and i'm sorry like if you're watching this whatever um but one girl was like i can't believe you'd attack people and i was like i didn't say anything mean to you and then she said um <laughs> Yeah, if you're watching this, I don't know. If you comment something nasty, I'm just going to block you. But she was like, especially after I spent all this time watching your videos, because my mom asked me to find a new micro for our new campaign. And I was like, okay, that doesn't sound legit. Because, I mean, if, if you were really looking for people, you would just, you would either say yay or nay and you'd keep going. Like, if you were a real professional in, in this field, you wouldn't, like, be making comments like that and if you were a professional you wouldn't be like was everybody else screaming at the screen blah 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 so i go check out her little instagram profile i, I don't have anything nice to say so i'm just not gonna say anything i'm not gonna put somebody on blast but come on <laughs> like don't be completely fake there was zero percent chance that this girl was telling the truth and i just thought it was funny so at any rate i'm over um at the end it's just kind of laughable quit Sally is so crazy. Quit calling me. But yeah, it was kind of funny, kind of laughable. But for those of you who may have been screaming at your screen for me to close the lid, we're gonna test it out with the lid closed and see what happens. But I, I honestly can't think that it would make a difference. It's not a real washing machine. It just has a little spinny thing in the bottom. So that's about it for now. I have a little while to relax. She keeps clawing me, my God, okay. I'm going to go relax. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing week, and I will talk to you again very soon. So I wanted to set this up really quick and satisfy some of your guys' curiosity. So a lot of people in my little tiny washing machine video got super annoyed that I left the lid open like that. So personally, I never thought in a million years that that would be annoying or people would think that it would make a difference, but at any rate, um, that was just what people thought. So I'm going to give it a try. I have another dirty beauty blender because I just have a bunch of them. This one is like the turquoise one. I'm going to wet it. I just don't feel like 
with it, when you put it in dry, like it takes forever to like soak up all the liquid. So I just went ahead and I'm only wetting it with water. I'm gonna put warm water. Some nice warm water. I'm also going to try a different cleanser to kind of be fair because I used this one and the conclusion, if you didn't see that video, was that eh, it was kind of a flop. So oddly enough, apparently the first person who used this used this cleanser and I have it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Okay, I'm just gonna put like a generous amount. I hate wasting that because I, I'm I think I'm gonna love that cleanser. I haven't tried it on my face yet. And I'm gonna start it. <gasps> oh no! Oh there we go. I don't know. The water kind of sinks down and like gets through the bottom of it, so I wonder if that's messing it up at all. Or maybe the battery is just trying to give out. Alright, so I'm gonna close this. Sorry, this bathroom is really dirty because this is like the bathroom that my cats use. And I'm, I'm not joking, this is like where their litter boxes are. So sorry if you can see how dirty it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this run for a little bit and I'm just gonna leave my camera on. I'll come back and like flip it around and I'll leave it. So it's not as bad as I thought it was. Let me make sure this is soaked before I just run away and leave it. Because I feel like it's not absorbing the water. Okay, I'm gonna turn it that way. Okay, so it's doing pretty good with the lid closed. I don't know, I feel like before it was uh, kind of getting stuck around the lid, but it's doing a little bit better today actually, so I don't know. But I'm just gonna leave it closed since some of you guys were, or probably, maybe not you guys watching this vlog, but some people were really like, uh, why didn't you close the lid? I honestly, does it matter? It doesn't matter. Is it making a difference? So yeah, anyway, I just don't think it makes a difference. So we're gonna let this run for a few minutes. I'm gonna go do a couple things and I will speed through this. been a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna um, turn it around. Oh wow! It's creating like a ring around it. Like it actually looks like it's doing pretty well with this cleanser. Holy crap. Okay. So this is what I was worried about. Like it's just not, it's not turning and kind of hitting the lid, but I mean, let's see. Mm, it's not doing much better with the lid open or closed. Still, I'm gonna let it run for a little bit like that. Hopefully it won't burn that motor up, but let's see. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back over because it seems to be working a little bit better that way. Um, the lid is not doing anything one way or the other because it, it's just not coming in contact with it. So I'll just leave the lid closed and make some people maybe marginally more happy. Um, it looks like this cleanser though is doing a much better job. I'm gonna be like 100% honest. I don't think that this cleanser is that great. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the Glam Glow one seems to be doing a pretty good job. I'm just curious and I'm impatient. So I'm gonna like, Wow. That, I mean, I have to admit, that's doing a much better job. I don't think the lid is making a difference one way or the other because it's just not touching it. But it looks like there is more makeup in this water. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna let it soak that up again. I'm basically like holding it where like the little um, God, what do I want to call that? It's like basically making like a little, what is it called? Oh my God, like a little vacuum and like sucking the water out. So I'm holding it just enough where it has room to do that with the bottom of it, because otherwise. 
it. Let's just let it have a little bit more fun in this direction. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna move this guy over. Please ignore the messiness that is the sink. Makeup water coming out. Let's see where you can see it. So it's definitely got some makeup in it. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna wring this out. Wow, this one actually did a pretty darn good job. Um, it still needs rinse, obviously, so you're not putting like cleanser on your face. All right, so it still got some foundation in the bottom. That's always the hardest part for me because I usually bounce my foundation on with that part, but the rest of it looks pretty good. This is really exciting, but I think what I'm learning more is that this guy is great. Um, it is a little bit expensive just to clean sponges with, but it is really doing a good job. So I'm gonna grab another sponge. I know this is like four vlogs, so I'm sorry if this is annoying, but I have my Stands Out Beauty sponge. Now I actually have a newer one than this. This one's like my really beat up one. So this one is still good for like baking. I don't like it as much for uh, foundation because I have a newer one, of course, because I really use this one. But I'm curious to see how clean it will become with this Glam Glow Cleanser since it's doing such a great job. Now these start out white, so over time mine has become really yellow and it's just like been inundated with foundation so much. Obviously this is too big for that. It probably would not move around well at all. So I just wanna give it like a really good massage Look at all that. See all the foundation coming out. Wow. I mean, it's not turning it back white, and obviously I've gotten like eyeliner or something on it too. Um, it's not turning it back to like the state where it's an original color, but it is cleaning it really, really well. All right, so that did a pretty good job of cleaning that. Um, that's like really soaked in foundation or concealer. But it did a pretty decent job. And those are kind of hard to clean after they get to an old point. And I've had that one a long time. Okay, so long story short, this is amazing. The little washing machine is still kind of just eh. um, But I just had to know if the lid would make a difference. I really don't think that it does. So that's it for now. I will stop boring you guys with this and I'll talk to you hey later. Hey guys, it is Saturday. Okay, I'm gonna try this caramel ribbon crunch. That has a weird taste to it. It's called deliciousness. Anyway, I got, this is like my new favorite. So I got a triple shot of espresso over ice with four pumps of toffee nut and then almond milk. So this is what it looks like. It's so good. I need to mix it up a little bit. Damn. <laughs> Since he wants to be involved, hey. Hello. Okay, I don't know why I still have my seatbelt on. Um, so we are at TJ Maxx. We really need to just get K-Cups. I have a little reward certificate that I can use. And sometimes you can find like really good deals on K-Cups at TJ Maxx, so we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Um, and then of course I'll just glance around and see if I find anything and I'll vlog with you guys. So yeah, I've done an awful job of vlogging this week. I think the last day that I vlogged was like Wednesday. Maybe, yeah, I think it was Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in here and I will take you guys with me. <gasps> we're here.
like a bat. And then some kind of watermelon spray. Some cake cups. This is one of their liquid lips. They're not incredibly old, and that one's like brand new. It looks good. <sighs> Sniffles really wants to chew on the plastic bag. Hi. Do you want to get up there? Can you get back in that chair? There you go. Cat bud. All right, so. <laughs> Alright, so I thought I would just sit down. Ugh. I thought I would sit down for a moment and show you what I got at TJ Maxx. Just a couple little things, nothing big. Yes, ma'am. Okay. She just wants to be lovey dovey. So I picked up this is a shower cap and hair turban set. This was only $3.99, but I actually really like these hair turbans because um, with regular towels, you know, they're really absorbent and kind of dry your hair out a bit. So this seemed pretty nice. The shower cap is so adorable. It has like hippie sloths or something like that. They look like sloths from the 70s. I obviously shower every day, but I don't always wash my hair. So this is kind of, this may come in handy. It's really cute. Let's see, like I usually put my hair in a clip and then put a headband on. Oh, that's a good look but you know you always get like always get some type of water on my hair so this might be really handy or if I want to put this on like do a hair mask and then put a cap on I felt like that might come in handy too I just have to clean it afterwards so yeah I came with that and then a little hair turban so I have one of these but obviously you know I wash it occasionally so it would be nice to have another one and then this is Dear Boo, this is a Korean brand. So this is the Everyday Mist Watermelon Moisturizing is what it says. Looks like that. It was $5.99. This is not a brand I've heard of before, but I don't know. I was just intrigued. It looks, it looks a little thicker than just like a watery type of spray, watery type of spray. Um, it's maybe like a gel. Okay, it says it's good for skin calming and conditioning the skin. It soothes and vitalizes tired skin from external stimuli. Apply every day on both face and body. Spray two to three times to the dry and tired skin at a distance of 20 centimeters. Lightly tap to absorb. I'm about to take a shower in a minute, but I feel like I'll just try it. Oh, that's actually a finer mist than I thought. Oh, it smells so good. I really, really love the Glow Recipe Watermelon Spray. This one smells watermelon, but it smells more like watermelon candy. The other one smells a little bit better, but for $5.99, it actually feels pretty nice. So there you go. I'm all about some sprays, especially in the summertime. It's so refreshing. I literally got one more thing. So this is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream, and I got the shade Truth or Bear. I think this is the shade that when they first came out, I was like, ooh, I really like that color. Um, which is why I was kind of intrigued to get it and I want to say these maybe came out uh, a year ago but it could have been longer so that's what the packaging looks like a very sleek and then it's just got this little window right here to see the color and this one was like fresh fresh oh yeah that's so pretty so that is the shade truth or bear I didn't see any others but I was just really excited to find this one so I didn't spend very much and then I did get a couple packs of K-Cups like you guys saw in the little clip so that's it I'm about to take a shower and then I've got to decide what I want to film today I think I'm gonna film an empties video hopefully you guys are keen to see that and then I'm probably gonna get ready to film my next declutter I'm just trying to decide I think today I might declutter foundations concealers and powders I feel like that would be a good place to start right now. 
um, and get make some room for like bigger things because I have so many powders and I need to find them like a little bit of a better home. So one of my like clear bins on the top of my vanity will probably be the spot where I'll put them. I mean I have several but it's not like so much that I need like a whole drawer or anything like that. So I think that's what I'm going to work on and my mind right now is like reeling because I need to figure out like within the next three weeks, like three weeks being like max figure out what we're doing <laughs> like if we're staying here if we're leaving this particular house and we're getting a new place i'm so lost i don't know <laughs> also if you guys left me a testimonial for the sephora squad thank you so much i think everybody will find out on the 18th who the like semi-finalists are so that's not like a guarantee that you are one of them. If by some chance I did make it to that round, then I would know like I was in a smaller group that I may or may not be selected. I'm not counting on it by any means. Um, it would be awesome, of course, um, but I'm not, you know, counting my chickens or anything, but maybe, maybe we will see. My district manager told me that there hadn't been many applications from my region, from like the Southeast. Um, he was like, out of all his stores, maybe one girl in Florida had. I'm sure there's maybe more, but, um, you know, out of my little area, that was, it was very few. So, who knows what will happen. We will see. That's it for now. Before I just sit here and talk to you guys and bore you to death, I'm just gonna go take a shower. It's like the end of my period, which means I'm like just dragging a little bit like I'll feel better in a couple of days but unfortunately like I need to get some stuff done now um but yeah I'm just I'm kind of sluggish and I just want to take a nap <laughs> but I'm not going to I'm going to do more productive things today so that's what's up and I will talk to you guys in a little bit hey guys <laughs> I look oh it's definitely hair washing day <laughs> So it's Monday and that means it's a vlog day. It's time for me to get vlog footage up. And yeah, I look a bit of it, a bit of a bit, I look a bit of a mess. Gosh, yesterday I didn't vlog because I literally had the most lazy day. The only eventful thing was I did film a declutter, but honestly, I just laid the products out and talked about them and yeah, I kept it really simple. Feline good. I didn't upload any videos for like, I think three days in a row so I do have two new videos up I put one up on Saturday and one up on Sunday so I did a lip plumping device where like it kind of like plumps your lips with like suction and I used it yesterday too because you're supposed to kind of use it like consistently putting in collagen in my coffee I was about to try to put my lens cap on this so I'm making coffee right now and then I am really I need to like start editing this vlog I feel bad because I feel like once again it's kind of boring um so I feel like I've done the same thing the last few weeks um so yeah like the only interesting thing is that I went to TJ Maxx but like it was just a little trip um so yeah what else I'm trying to figure out if there was anything else I was gonna vlog let's go so this is kind of what I did. The blanket was not that messed up. My kitties decided to play a little bit. So this is kind of what I did. I just laid everything out and then went through and decluttered. I didn't declutter all that much. Um, I feel like I didn't do that great of a job, but I have so many like new foundations that I just haven't, I don't know, I just haven't used them or their backups. I got a lot in gratis too, so I just, I happen to get like a lot of foundations all at once. So that's a little better. Um, these are things that, powders I don't really have a home for, so I'm about to make some room. Let's see, this is something I need to do really quick because I don't need to leave this stuff on the floor. So I think I'm gonna use one of these bins because obviously these are not really organized in any kind of fashion. Oh, wow, those still have the products in them. Oh dear. I need to do a better job. Oh man, this is old. <laughs> Put all my powders in there, or like loose setting powders. My camera is dying so quick.
Oh, one more loose setting powder. I'm gonna put in this bin and then to put some foundation. So now I can pick this blanket up. Oh, well, I was gonna pick the blanket up, but my baby is on it. So it'll have to stay. I was gonna wash that one soon anyway. So yeah, that's my little room pickup. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here so I can go ahead and get the footage up and put it up for you guys. Let me know how your weekend went. I'd love to know how you guys are doing. And other than that, it is back to a work week and video filming for me. So I am off on Wednesday and I'll probably just start my vlog then and I'll have a little bit more going on because I have a few more days off with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.